Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is Excel and Finance. <clears throat> How do I get real-time stock updates in Excel? So, how can we do it? So, let's go to our Excel file. And by the way, all our Excel files are free and the link to download it is in our video description. So, let me give a zoom in and it's better. So, here I select the 500 companies of the S&P 500. So, here actually they are 503. Uh, and then, okay, let's see uh, some info about them. So, the first, let's select them. And then we go on insert table. My table has headers we here with filters and so on. So, that is good. And then we go on data and we click on stocks. So, let's go the stocks and let's see. So, how Excel finds it based on the symbol. So, here, oops, some wrong here. I don't want the one. So only the symbol, we select the symbol. And then we go on, oops, come on. Symbol. And then we go on stocks. Yes, so that is how Excel finds it. So base it on symbol. And then, why symbol? Because sometimes there are companies with more than one different stocks or shares. Uh, for instance, uh, we will find some, some here. So, uh, with one company and two, and two symbols. So, only we only need to look at them and so on. Okay, so that is how do we find it? And then we go here on the add column. So, okay, what is the add column here? So, for instance, as I was telling you, if we go to alphabet, that is Google. Class A and Class C. So we have two, uh, two different stocks with one company only. So that is why we should go based on symbol. Okay. And then what info do we do we do we need? So for instance, price. That is the actual price. What what else? The industry. That they, that they are, or let's go industry at the very end. So here, uh, change, replace it, yes. And change in percentage. And then we can add the info that we want. So number of employees. So there are very interesting, uh, 52 weeks high, 52 weeks low, better, and and then let's go on headquarters where they are located. And then, whoa. And then one more here for the industry. So here, what we have. So that is how we do it. And then, Let's go back here. We want to refresh them. Just right click, refresh, and it takes a while because we have 500. And then we refresh all of the info. We will, it will not be refreshed now because I am recording this video when the market is closed. But we refresh it doing that, saving it, or when we open the file, it will be refreshing. So, 
if you download this uh, file, you will get all of these info for the uh, S&P 500. And then uh, you can check it whenever you want. So easy, huh? Easy and very useful for our research, for our classes, for our daily job, uh, for every time that we want to work with uh, the prices or other info of stocks and shares. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Questions or comments, leave them here or email me. Have a very nice day and God bless you.